welcome to Catherine's Plate. I'm Catherine. Today I am making a chowder. I am going to be loading this up with some flavor. I'm going to be putting some potatoes and corn off the cob in it. I'm flavoring it with some bacon, garlic, honey, and the soup base is going to be made out of chicken broth and a roux of flour, butter, onions, and seasonings. So I'm going to get started by frying up my bacon because we want it crisp and then I'm going to be taking my corn off the cob. So come with me and let's get started. Alright, so I'm going to finish husking the corn that came in the package here and get all of the little strings off of it. There we go. Alright. Oh, yes I did. <laughs> How many times have we seen this? So I'm going to put my corn cob right, right in the center there. I'm going to take my knife and I'm just going to cut down on the sides like that. There we go. Turn. So I'm on the last one. I've done eight corn cobs here. This is a corn and potato chowder, so we want corn in it. <laughs> it adds a lot of flavor when you cut this right off the cob, but if you want to use frozen corn or canned corn, you can, but it's, you're not going to get this fresh taste. So, And yes, as you're cutting this down, the kernels kind of go everywhere, don't they? <laughs> So this bunt pan is a really great tool to hold your corn cob while you're cutting off all of the, the kernels. All right, look at that. It's kind of cool, isn't it? Look, little bunches of corn like that. Oh, it smells so delicious. All right, we're gonna start the next step of cooking our bacon. All right, so I'm cooking up five pieces of bacon and I'm going to cook them until they're very crisp. Alright, so while my bacon is cooking, I'm going to go ahead and start dicing a small yellow onion. All right, so my bacon now looks ready to be taken out. I'm gonna place it on a plate that has some paper towels on it. Ooh. <sighs> you know your house smells good when there's bacon cooking. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right, I am not gonna drain out that bacon grease. That's flavor for what's coming. And what's coming is my diced yellow onion. So I'm going to go ahead and put it in there and start softening that up. Alright, I'm going to give it about two minutes to soften up. Alright, so I'm um, using Yukon potatoes. What I'm going to do is I have five of them because this is more of a corn chowder with potato as the second ingredient. So I'm going to go ahead and dice these small so they, they cook faster. Alright, so we take care of these and we'll be right back. Alright, it's been about a minute and a half. I'm going to go ahead and add one teaspoon of garlic and a quarter cup of flour. Mix 
mix. We're going to cook that down for about another minute and a half just to get that flour taste out of there, the raw flour taste. All right, then another minute and a half, I'm going to go ahead and add one cup of water. And four cups of a chicken broth right here. And there's four cups in this box right here, so I'm going to pour it all in. Turn my burner up. And we're going to bring this to a simmer. here. Get that all mixed up. And then I will be back as soon as this comes to a boil. Alright, so I have my simmer now. I'm going to go ahead and add my rest of my ingredients and we're going to start seasoning. So I'm going to put about half a teaspoon of some thyme. some pepper, salt, this is to taste, just remember you got potatoes and corn going in there so make sure you season it well. And now we're going to add, oh here we go, one tablespoon of honey. That a whisk. We're going to give that a little taste. Oh my goodness. Y'all not going to believe what that honey did to there. Oh, that's good. Alright, so now I've got my corn. I'm going to go ahead and add that. Just be careful. You don't want to splash yourself. this up. Oh, does that look like a chowder yet? <laughs> All right. This was one cup of half and half. And two tablespoons of butter. I'm going to give that a mix. Oh, doesn't that look good? Do y'all see the chowder yet in it? Yeah, look at that. All right, we're gonna bring this back up to a boil. We brought it back to a boil. I'm gonna turn this down on low and I'm going to simmer this for another 20 minutes. And then we're gonna garnish and we're gonna eat it. So I'll see you back here. All right, so it's been 20 minutes. I've checked the potatoes and they are done. And that's what we were looking for. Look at that consistency. All right, I'm gonna turn this off. And what I'm going to do is take my emulsifier. I'm not going to do too much in there because I, I do want the big chunks in there, but some of it we're going to blend down so it gets a more creamier texture. So you can even take half of this out and put it in a blender and blend it up there and then put it back in so you can mix it up if you want. All right, so we're going to go ahead and... So when you use one of these, put it all the way down to the bottom of the soup because you don't want it to come back up at you. <laughs> and just pulse it. And then just move it around. I'm gonna do it about five times. There we go. Let's see if that's the way I want it. Yep. One more. Only because I like to use it. <laughs> Alright. Alright, now here comes the bacon. Now what I'm gonna do with this, move this out of the way. Alright, yeah, I might have already eaten a little piece just to just to try it, make sure it was good. Alright. 
So I'm going to take my bacon and I'm just going to crumble it into the soup and break it up into little pieces. It's already fried up, so it's going to add a, another layer of flavor. I'm going to give that a mix. Oh, y'all, the smell of this. Any reason to use corn <laughs> before the summer ends, right? Look at that. Oh, all right. I'm going to bowl this up and we're going to give it a try. All right, y'all, can y'all see that? Take a look at that. Ooh. Oh, you see that bacon in there? All right. All right, there you go. Corn and potato chowder. I grated up some fresh cheddar cheese to put on top. Ooh. More? All right, and we're gonna add a little bit of, these are chives. Add a little bit to it. Alright, there you go, y'all. Mmm. Y'all, this is so good. Okay, the sweet corn is very predominant in here. There's the bacon adding a nice saltiness to here. I put honey in here. Don't forget the one tablespoon of honey that I put into our soup. Cut up the golden Yukon potatoes. Oh my gosh, y'all. Look at how creamy this is. All right, if you want my recipe, I know you want it, right? It is on my blog, katherinesplates.com. There's an S on the end of that. All right, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so that you know when my shows come out on Mondays and Thursdays, and then I have shows all in between, too. Give me a big thumbs up today, and comment down below what you think of my soup. Till then, I will see you on my next episode.